Six ingredients is all you need for this amazing casserole that's perfect for any holiday. We are making Paula Deen corn casserole. Hi, my name's Christina. I'm with eatingonadime.com. Welcome. Today, we are cooking in my sister Carrie's kitchen. My sister and I are on a mission to help real families eat at home, especially on a budget. And as you know, Thanksgiving is just around the corner. So for Thanksgiving, we are doing a series of our favorite easy, delicious holiday recipes, including today's corn casserole. You can't have Thanksgiving without corn casserole. And to celebrate, we have our digital cookbook at a large discount. It is called Thanksgiving Made Easy. You can have fancy foods without all the work. That is linked in the description below, as well as today's recipe. So make sure you check that out. For today's recipe, we are baking it. You will need a nine by 13 baking pan. Any will work. And we're gonna spray it with a non-stick cooking spray. And this is just for easy serving. Go ahead and spray that pan and set it aside. And then we're going to get that oven preheated. So by the time this casserole is assembled, we can get it baked. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna get the casserole ready. First, we're gonna melt some butter. You need a half a cup of butter, which is essentially a stick of butter. I'm going to melt this in the same mixing bowl just to save dishes. So make sure you use a microwave safe bowl and use a large enough bowl to add in the other ingredients. So I'm gonna hit the heat this in the microwave, 20 second intervals until it's melted. Yes, this is the microwave right here. We get asked that a lot. It's really awesome and I'm really jealous of it. <laughs> All right, we will get this melted and we'll get the rest of the ingredients added. Once the butter's melted, we're going to add a corn muffin mix. Today I'm using the Jiffy corn muffin mix, which works great. It's the 8.5 ounce box. It works perfect in this recipe. Now, if you don't have this in your area, we do have a homemade version of this on eatingonadime.com. Just look up a uh, cornbread mix and it'll pull right up. Add that to your mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add two cans of corn. One is sweet whole corn and the other is cream corn. So on the whole corn, this is a 15 ounce can and you wanna drain the liquid off. So I've already drained it, opened it and drained it, add it right to the bowl. And then on the cream style corn, you don't have to worry about draining that. Just dump in the whole can. It is also 15 ounces. These are just your standard size canned corn. And then we are going to add in sour cream, one whole cup of sour cream. This is the secret ingredient, if you will. It really makes sure the casserole is moist and delicious. If you can't do sour cream, you can always use like plain unflavored or un, yeah, flavored Greek yogurt and that will work great as well. All you do is throw it in there with the butter and we're gonna stir to combine all these ingredients. Then we're just gonna pour this directly into that prepared casserole dish and spread it out as even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, so. So what I love about these easy casseroles is perfect's never the goal and they come out great every time. All right, let's get this in the oven. Bake for 45 minutes. While the casserole is baking, we're gonna go ahead and get the cheese ready. This does, is just topped with a cup of shredded cheddar cheese at the end of the cook time. We recommend shredding your own. It does add a couple of minutes to the prep time, but it's worth it in the flavor and it melts way better. So shred your own. This is a cool little cheese shredder that we got on Amazon. I will link it in the description below for you as well. It shreds easily and is really quick and awesome. The best part is that there's a little suction cup here at the bottom, so it'll stick to your counter so it doesn't move, which is great. So to get the suction cup to lock down, there's a lock here on the front. You just move it over to the lock position and it'll lock it to the counter. So it's really nice. You don't have to worry about it falling over. Perfect. And then you just take your cheese and I just break it into smaller pieces 
and you'll want something to catch the shredded cheese when it comes out. So I'm just using a large plate here. Put it right in here. This can hold it down. I'm gonna do two smaller just to make it easier. Hold it down with one hand and then turn and it'll just come right out. And it's beautiful shredded cheese every time. So for this recipe, I need about a cup. What's great about this contraption is you can go ahead and do the whole block and then freeze it or refrigerate it for another recipe because it literally takes seconds to just make this beautiful, perfect shredded cheese every time. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside to make sure it's ready to top on that casserole. Once it's cooked for the first 45 minutes, remove it. We're gonna top it with just a cup of the shredded cheese. Now this whole block is about two cups, so I'm just gonna do half of this. You just wanna sprinkle it on top, and then it's gonna go back into the oven just until that's nice and melted. So it should, should take about five to seven minutes, maybe 10 at the most. Just, just adds a little delicious cheese. Let's get this back in the oven. We're just gonna bake it. I'll check it at five minutes and you're just wanting to wait until the cheese is melted. The cheese is nice and melted, so we know that it's done. So once it's done, you want to let the casserole set for about five to 10 minutes, just so it's not too hot and everything is easy to serve. So we'll let this set for a little bit and I'll be back to serve it up. All right, it is ready to serve. Like we said at the beginning, I love serving this for the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all the time. But it is so good, you can serve it any time of the year. It's very, very moist with all that butter and sour cream in it. And then it's ready to serve. This is the best casserole for any event, any holiday. Let's touch on a few things. Since this is for Thanksgiving, a lot of people wanna know if it can be made the day ahead. So you can assemble the casserole and refrigerate it and just bake it the morning or the day of when you're baking all your other ingredients. You could bake it the day before and just reheat it up as well. That would be great. It will keep in your refrigerator for up to five days. I would just cover it with some plastic wrap and that will work great. And you'll just need to reheat it for maybe five or seven minutes. I just would wait to put that cheddar cheese on there until you're serving so that it is it doesn't get too hard or overcooked. Also, like I said before, the refrigerators will keep up to five days if they're stored in an airtight container and you can freeze it up to three months. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, I love it. Thank you so much for joining me. Do not forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our easy family friendly recipes, especially the series that we're doing, 10 days of Thanksgiving recipes to get you ready for the holidays. You don't wanna miss any one of those. Today's recipe is linked in the description below if you wanna print that out to get ready for your holiday dinners. You can also find our digital cookbook linked in the description below, Thanksgiving Made Easy, and it's on a big sale. You can get it for 50% off, so make sure that you check that out. All right, friends, I cannot wait to try this. Thank you guys so much for joining me today in my sister's kitchen, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.